and just stay tuned. Welcome to the Overcomers Bible Ministry. You're going to have some important information that we're going to share with you. So what we need you to do is get a pen or a pencil and some paper. And then you better go and get your water because you have to come back real fast because we're going to give you some great information. And before we go any further, we would just like to say hello and to our pastor, Bishop Charles E. Blake, and his wife, Mrs. May L. Blake, and to the West Angeles Church family for this opportunity. Now, at the end of the program, you'll see our email address, our P.O. box, and then our telephone number. And if you have any prayer requests or any suggestions, we would like to hear from you. Okay? Go and get that water and come back real fast. So, I am the co-host, but with me is Dr. Tanya D. Lewis. How are you today, Dr. Lewis? I'm doing just quite well, Evangelist Pamela Williams. That's right. You put me in a trickster <laughs> this time, but it's okay. <laughs> what are we speaking about today? We are talking about live in Christian freedom. Mm. You know, everyone likes to be free. Okay. But what we sometimes uh, forget is that with freedom comes responsibility. But it's oh. real good to, to know that uh, we can have freedom in our, in our Christian lifestyle. And really and truly, that's the only time that we really will have true freedom yes. is through a Christ-like Christian lifestyle. Wow. And so uh, we're going to go into the actual classroom setting mm -hmm. where we are going, where the Overcomers Bible Fellowship meet on Sunday mornings at 8 a.m. on Sunday mornings and 5.30 p.m. on Sunday um, evening mm -hmm. and we're going to discuss like I said live in Christian freedom taken from Galatians the fifth chapter um, and that first verse that we're going to be dealing with which is stand fast therefore in the liberty wherewith Christ has made us free and be not entangled again with the yoke of bondage. And so Amen. the Lord just always kind of moving them uh, unusual. We never know how he's going to move in the right, classroom. Right. And so uh, it makes us really excited on Sunday mornings. And I get really excited because oh, yes, it's do. just a mouthpiece. I'm just <laughs> a <know>. mouthpiece. <laughs> because you even get so excited. You say, look, the Holy Ghost came to teach us. It's not even in your notes. Exactly. But you just flow right. according to the way the Holy Spirit would let you flow. And so we wonderful. really enjoyed ourselves. Yeah. Oh. And we, don't wanna, and we don't want to prolong anymore because we want, we want our audience to join us in the Overcomers Bible Fellowship setting. Mm -hmm. uh, we, we are a group of people who love the Lord, who love each other. Uh, we're not deep, but we really, really love Jesus. And so sit back and be attuned to what the Spirit of God would say and uh, just enjoy yourself. That's right. We'll see you next time. <laughs> <laughs> All right. God is good. Yes, He is. Psychological side of something to learn about what you know, thou shalt not, thou shalt not. It's another thing to put it into action. And, and in fact, yeah. that's what our lesson is going today. Father said, okay, now I've given you instruction, now I want you to put it into action. Because you can you can gain all the knowledge you want, but and that will only make you armed. But to become armed and dangerous is to begin doing what you have been taught to do. And so see, as long as You've been, you, you've been given the knowledge of, of, of how to uh, be a martial arts, and, 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 and you've been taught all the rules. But see, if you, don't, if you don't utilize those rules against your enemy, then you're just armed. You're armed with the equipment. You're armed with the knowledge, but you don't become dangerous to that person until you actually put it into place. We don't become dangerous to the enemy until we actually walk in God's word, until we actually walk in the freedom that God has given us through his word. And so, um, and so our lesson today is to talk about living in Christian freedom, doing the practical application of what we, uh, how we should live. We could, because we're no longer servants, but 
but we are now sons and heirs of uh, Jesus Christ. There must be an adjustment in how we think and how we act in order for us to live a Christian freedom. You know what is simple but yet profound, but yet simple but yet profound, is that in order for there to be change, there must be change. We wrestle with not wanting things to change. But we pray about things changing. Oh, wow. mm -hmm. Wow. Mm -hmm. Please. I don't think I see it. I think I see it. We don't want. Okay, hold on. Okay. We, I know we pray about change, but we don't want things. We don't want things to change. But we pray about things changing. And that's why we said that. It's so simple but yet profound, but so simple, it's profound but yet simple. In order for there to be change, there must be change. Amen. Change from the familiar. Mm -hmm. Change from what we know, Diana. Change from what we are accustomed to. Change from what we know is this the only, this must be the world because this is what I know. But yet we're praying for change. And so in order for me to move from change, praying this prayer of change, to actually walking in change, there must be a change. Change is, doesn't come easy for a lot of people. I'm, a, I'm, I'm in the front of the line on that. And I thank God. I bless the name of the Lord that, he, that through the Holy Spirit He gives us a spiritual um, escalator because that's where I am now. Because see, uh, it's just like okay, well, Lord, okay, just to, I, I can't deal with change easily, and I will embrace it so quickly. But remember now, I'm, I, over here I'm praying right, for right, change. Right, 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 right. Yeah. I'm praying for that, right. but don't let nothing change. Right. But how will there be change if there's not change? Tell me about it. That's why we said it's simple, yet profound, yet simple. Because the Holy Spirit had to minister that too. Because I, I, I was walking around and oh my God. God is my absolute witness. Everything, many things. Many major things in my life when this season <coughs> has just totally changed. Yeah. And it's happening so quickly that I have to get on that escalator because yeah. I, I don't lose it otherwise. Right, right, right. It's like a whirlwind. Mm -hmm. So many changes that's going on, down even down to the change of the color of my house, down to the change of the color of my car, down to the change of just every, everything. My whole life has changed, y'all. Embrace that opposite of Brother D. 24 hours a day. You couldn't go home to your husband. You couldn't change that cl those clothes because as a psych psychotherapist, they'd all be sitting at your feet because you had to help me out. If it wasn't for the spiritual Holy Ghost that says, okay, look, just trust me and get on for the ride. <laughs> See, that's the spiritual escalator. You don't understand how it's moving. You don't right. see the uh, right. me uh, mechanism for, right. for making it move. Right, right. But it's moving. But you know that. But you know it is moving, and you know it's moving from this point on, on down to that point. So the only thing we can do is just get on and go for the ride. Oh, yeah. And that's what the Holy Spirit wants us to know. Living in Christian freedom means get on and go on for the ride. Because we're not going to understand a whole lot of things. But his challenge to us is can you trust me? In the chain. See, as long as I know. All I have to know a lot. I don't even know where this escalator is going. I, 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 you know, I really, I really, truly don't have to know where it's going in. 
But I don't, as long as I know that God is organized and orchestrated and has set that escalator up, as long as I know that, that's all I need to know. That God, you are in charge of my life. Can't tell you what we end up. Can't tell you, I can't give you no details. But as long as I know, and as long as we know, that God is in charge of our life, yeah. then there comes an automatic peace yeah. that we can rest in what? What is it? 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 Amen. Amen. If you want to move it, you would have to hold on. Right, right, right. But we have to get on and we have to hold on. Amen. 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 God's Amen. changing hands. Amen. 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 Wow. That, that, that came to my mind, really and truly. What Cliff was referencing was that we were um, praying to the Lord, and the Lord gave me that our lives will, were on the subway, or the, 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 the train. And, and on the train, there are seats, but there's also room for you to stand. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But in standing, there has to be a guard there. Right. It's yeah. move, again, it's moving. Right. See, God never just stand still. Right. Everything he does is always moving. moving. Whether we see it moving or not, it is moving. Yeah. When I was on the cruise, they didn't have the motor on. But yet we still we were moving right. out and right. right. because we were drifting on the way. Yeah. And so you wouldn't even know when you were moving. Mm -hmm. But you were moving. You could tell the difference when we got to Ensenada and it was time to come back home because then the captain said, okay, now we're going to turn on the motor uh, and then we're going to come on back in it, uh, come, on, come, on, come on back in. And you could tell the difference. Mm -hmm. But I couldn't say that wasn't moving as we were going because we got there. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. right. 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 Mm -hmm. See, we got there. So that was evident. See, when you get there, that's evidence that you were moving all the time. Uh -huh. But it just wasn't on. Uh, it just wasn't. Uh -huh. you know, it was Man, I didn't know I was moving. Right, right. Was that really moving? Yes, yeah, because guess what? We left from where we were? San Pedro, and we got to Mexico. Mm -hmm. So that must have meant that there had to be the movement yeah. involved. So to movement. And that's what he does. So to movement. And even right there, this whole last five minutes has been enough to change your life. Because what happens is that we can just really embrace and digest the fact that in order for it to be changed, that we're praying for there must be physical change from what we know. It will usher in the peace that we need, knowing that, Lord, all I have to do is just get on in you and hold on. Because as long as I'm in you, I'm moving. As long as I'm in you, I'm going someplace. It may be subtle, it may be drastic, but I'm moving. And I'm going from this point to that point. Because whatever you do in my life is always with a movement. You move me from glory to glory, from depth to depth, height to height. There's a movement in God. Yes. See God. Amen. In order for there to be a change, there must be change. So I would challenge Tommy and us finding to release and let go. Mm -hmm. And said, so, you know what? Mm -hmm. I know this is familiar ground right here. I know this is what I know right here. Maybe hell over here, but I, this is what I know. Mm -hmm. and, 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 and give it a choice of living in what we know, what we don't know, give me the hell. But yet you feel, Lord, deliver me from hell. Yeah. Okay, now wait a minute, now what you want is what you want. No, 
don't leave me right here because this is what I know. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm not comfortable, but I'm comfortable. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I, I know I don't like the mechanism that he, he, he uses to, for that escalator movement in life. Sometimes, sometimes our house burned down. Mm -hmm. In order for us to make the move. Sometimes we we have to hit bankruptcy. Mm -hmm. Not because God was able to contain us all that over here. But the thing about it is that we don't walk in the knowledge that we were equipped with over here. Mm -hmm. And so when we don't walk in the knowledge, then negative things happen. And and not only that, not all the time. That, that negative thing happened because of what we, but I'm just saying, things happen. Mm -hmm. But see, again, that one was going to say, okay, now is this a Remember when, uh, when, when Jesus' disciples passed by the blind man, and they said, now who's seeing it? Right. He was yeah. yeah. right. 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 They ain't got nothing to do with it. Right. The, the, the important thing was the end result, mm -hmm. that Jesus was God enough to give him his sight to mm -hmm. him. Mm -hmm. Don't get caught back here and put, well, you know what, well, 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 what, was, what, was, what was this for? Wow. No, just get caught up in the fact that Jesus is there with you and that when Jesus sees a need, Jesus is going to respond to the need and responding to that need means that picking you up out of hell and putting you in the element of heaven. If we're in the natural sense, I attempt to pick up those that we love and move them from a negative environment and to try to give them the very, very best that we have. And if we, are, and if we, are out, we have an ounce of God in us, then why is that we can understand that everything that God does for us is good? It may be, you know, a house running down, that ain't no good thing. <laughs> You losing your job, that really ain't no good thing. Well. Hitting fake rushes, that, that ain't no good thing on this side. Right, right, on that side. Mm. As we get on the escalator, that's not a good thing. Mm -hmm. But a good thing comes as we ride mm -hmm. along. My house burned down, I lost my job, the doctor told me I'm, 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 I'm terminally ill. Those are good things. But if I ride on with him, I'll get to the end of my purpose and my destination. Yes. And until he comes us out, we're not out. Mm -hmm. Can we rise from the ashes? We're all yes. testimonies yes. that we can rise from the ashes. Yes. We may have different ashes in our lives that, that, that we have had to rise up. Uh -huh. and, 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 and there have been different situations where people have stood over and said, can these bones live again? Mm -hmm. How many times have we asked ourselves, can these right. bones right. Right. live again? Right. They can't live again, because I could never, I'll never be able to. And guess what? That mm -hmm. I'll never be able to is a thing of the past, mm -hmm. but guess what? We're doing it now. That's why he, he's putting, right. he's an awesome God. That's why I keep hearing. So release him to make a change in your life to answer your prayer. Release him in your life to answer your prayer. He's not trying to answer his prayer. Right. He's not trying to answer your prayer for somebody else. That somebody else pray for you. Release him to answer your prayer. Paul was talking to the Galatians 
about living in Christian freedom. And part of that is doing verse number one. Yeah. Read, please, verse number Well, let me just say that uh, there it's going to always be people on the scene that's going to try to tell you differently than what the Word of God is saying. Of course. Don't be moved by anyone who tells you anything different than what the Word of God says. Yes. No matter who it is. Mm -hmm. Don't be moved by anyone who tells you anything different than what the Word of God says. Don't be moved by anyone who tells you anything different than what the Word of God says. Don't be moved by anyone who tells you anything different than what the Word of God says. Mm -hmm. Does that mean that we are not open to revelation of God's Word? No. But the revelation that comes will, it will, uh, your, your spirit will say, oh, okay, right. Right. Yes. That, it will be the other part to the puzzle mm -hmm. that already is sort of in your spirit. Mm -hmm. It will connect. Mm -hmm. You know, I like to play, uh, <laughs> Computer become your best friend. Uh, you know, life changing. You know, I'm by yourself now. And so, I, I, so I've always been a game player anyway. I, I, mean, I, I just love playing games. You know? And I would, and I would get mad at my mother, and my sister, and my sister, my brother. Nobody want to play games all the time. Like, I, I, mean, I could play 24 hours a day. Okay. As always, I got that. I got a major chance of balance in my life. All right. <laughs> but now on the computer, I can just go. I can go on that play loop as long as I want. Yeah. Uh, when I when I was saying, well, come on, let's play some Scrabble. Is that a, uh, not a problem, baby. That's why the Lord gave me my Scrabble partner. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't, I don't have to hear you say it. When I don't want to play, don't, you have to play, okay. <laughs> but the point that I was making was that I also work puzzles. You know, put jigsaw puzzles yeah. on the computer. And, 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 through AARP, AARP, you know, there's games and jigsaw and, and all that. You work jigsaw, you know what I mean? 500 pieces, 100 pieces, and the 1,000 pieces, 100, you know, just, I tell y'all, it ain't good when you get old. You gotta get to be a little good. You know, you learn some things along the way. But when I'm playing the jigsaw, uh, and, and, and when the piece doesn't fit, it, it doesn't do anything. Right. But when the piece fits, it grabs on. Uh -huh. It's an obvious uh -huh. grab on. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. And so that goes what I was just talking about. That the Spirit of God that you hear in your spirit will be a natural grab on. Okay. It needs to be an okay. obvious grab on. Okay. Right. 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 The connection. Right. Right. You know that right. you know that you know. Exactly. Right. And it fit. Okay. Because, like again, on the, on the computer, if it doesn't fit, it's just, right. it's just okay. you don't have one thing. But when it fits, it grabs on. Okay. Okay. And your spirit, when it fits, yeah. your spirit will yeah. grab right. on. Right. 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 Oh! Yeah. Right. Oh! Right. Right. Wow! Yeah. Right. Okay. Okay. You can get with that because it grabs on because it fits. Yeah. Right. That makes sense. Uh -huh. Okay. Amen. Mm -hmm. Um. <laughs> So then, therefore, this is what this is saying. Okay, read verse one, please. Stand back, therefore, in the liberty we were in Christ has made us free, and be not entangled again with the yoke of bondage. Paul here urges the Galatians to hold to the solemn doctrine he had taught them, rather than being confused and caught up in every new wind of doctrine. Don't try to follow everything that's coming by. Yeah. <laughs> you just can't follow everything. You just can't be nice to everything. You have to become adamant in what you believe because there are so many things, other things that will that will challenge what you believe that you can't afford to be, okay, well, let me see what you can say. Okay, but you know why? Because every every belief has an element of truth. Right, right, right. Just enough. Uh -huh. so that's why we can't be so open to just, let me just see what it is. Well, you know, that's true. This church, this, this, it is brown. That's true. So tell me more. See, that's where we get in trouble. It's an error. You are. That's where we can't afford to, you know, 
be careful about running different places. Be, be careful about embracing everybody's cooking. Be, be careful about getting everybody's word. Because it could be good word, but it may, but, but what's the word that God has established in your life, it may just like, it, it may not connect for, for the pattern or for the path that God has you going down. See, see, there's a certain uniform that an usher wears that's different than, from what the choir member wears. Right, right. They both are uniform, right, right. they both are appropriate, right. but now for the usher to have on the choir member's role that they're ushering, <laughs> that's out of order. Yeah. Especially when there's an usher outfit right, to right, wear, right, to right, usher. Right, right. And what the Spirit of God is saying up in here is that yes, the word may be good, but what he's picking you or what he's designing for your life, what he's called your life to do, it may conflict with what he's taking you, even though it may be good. Right. Amen. 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 Is that not deep? Yes. 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 Is that not deep or what? See, 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 I can celebrate. I, mean, I get real excited about what comes out of my mind because it ain't me anyway. Because I can pray this day, I don't know. But it may not be a good word for, for what he's called you to do. It may be the choir role and he told you to usher. But it's a good word. And what happens is that when we embrace all the good words, it comes into confusion. And so, we, and, and, and so wow. we and so we walk around confused in the right. body with all the good words. Right. Oh, oh my, oh my, oh my. Mm. And, 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 and I don't know what could be more deadly is to die with something that is good. Mm. Uh. Or to go crazy from something that is good because we mix it up wrong. Wow. You can't mix everything. Wow. They, they, in the natural sense, they, they give us warnings right. about, okay, you're going to take this kind of right. money? Don't right. take don't right. no coffee. Right. Don't, don't right. bring no alcohol. Right. Oh, well, we ain't bringing alcohol anyway. Right. Amen. 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 Amen, bro. Amen. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just speaking on your own because you're so, you know, you're so cool. You know, you're cool. <laughs> <laughs> uh -huh. uh, Louis, brother Louis. Brother Louis. I like that voice, Brother Lou, is all right. <laughs> but, but in that sense, it tells us don't mix right. things. Right. Now, right. coffee is, you know, coffee is good. We're going to get to the other thing. Coffee, you know, for the person who likes coffee, coffee is good to that person. But it may not be good, it's not going to be good combined with, the caffeine combined with. And so, and so, and so, the point that Holy Spirit wants to understand is that all, in all the words that can come through the righteous man of God from the word is good word. Right, right. But it may be deadly in mixing with the prescription they've given for your life. Yeah. 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 